Uh, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to my channel. And today what we're going to be talking about is uh, the home menu on Excel. I have a video which I'm going to show that's going to basically demonstrate all that you can do with the home menu. It's just some basic knowledge for those that don't know of this. And it's good to become very familiar with that menu because that menu is used pretty frequently as many of the other menus so with that in mind we can get ourselves situated upstairs get a cold drink you know get some uh you know iced tea get like some popcorn it won't be a long video but it's just going to be a little discussion about the home menu and what it's about so if you haven't already done so, click the thumbs up and smash the subscribe button and we're going to get set up and get this party started. Okay, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We're all set up and situated. Uh, what I have here is basically your home menu of Excel. There are things that you could do on the clipboard. There are things that you could do with the text, basically. There are things, all this that you could do with the text. Then you could do the formatting of the numbers. And it does conditional formatting, and then you could color with styles and everything like that. You can insert cells, delete cells, format single cells, and then you could do sorting and summing and all sorts of neat little things like that. So basically, if you haven't already done so before, play around with this menu and see what you can get. You can take and make your spreadsheets that much better by using features of the home menu. Now, I have a demonstration video that we should watch that's about the home, home menu. And here it goes. Welcome back. We're now going to look at the home menu. And you're going to notice that there's a clipboard menu, a font menu, alignment, a number menu, a styles menu, a cells menu, and an editing menu. Now the clipboard menu functions as you might think. You can place your cursor inside of a particular, you can paste whatever you've copied into the clipboard. So for example, we will then hit control V, which is typically what you would use for the paste command. And you can then use any of the other text manipulation commands that you would use in any other document program. You can bold the information, you can italicize it. You can then underline it. You can then place a background inside of the information. And you can change the font color. You can change the font style. And you can change the font size. Now in terms of the alignment, what we can do is we can expand the cells so we can look at the alignment capabilities. And actually what we're going to do is widen this. You can center justify, you can right justify, you can left justify. Now just for your information, one of the things that we did in order to widen this cell is that we took the right hand corner and we can slide these things over. If you have a case where your cell is going to be smaller than what you have in text, all you have to do is double click this end it will lengthen to the length of the text and of course you can slide it out from there 
and then that's where you'll be able to see your justification. You can format the cells of particular numbers. So for example, if you have a series of numbers in a specific column or row, you can use the format command to format those numbers. So for example, one of the things we can do is we can turn this to currency. We can turn this to a date. We can turn it to the formatting that we want or fraction. The styles command allows you to show your cells in different ways so that you can highlight certain things. For example, you have one table here where you can do conditional formatting. So assuming that you have a series of numbers here, conditional formatting will allow you to set rules for the content. So for example, we can say that if the value is going to be greater than 77, then what we're going to do is we're going to make this a certain color. And you'll see that then will happen to all of the data that you place in this column. You can use the cells command to either add cells or delete cells or to format cells. So for example, if we want to add cells, we could use this command. For example, we can insert a cell. We can delete a cell. We can insert an entire row of cells, or we can delete an entire row of cells. We can take one cell or a series of cells using the format command. We can format that cell. We can format the height. We can format the width. We can make it so that the cell does not appear. And you're also going to find some overlap with the view area where we're going to be able to protect certain cells from individuals being able to edit the information. There's also some overlap with the data menu here in the editing panel. So for example, if we want to find a certain area of our spreadsheet, we can use find. We can then find the number 67. And then Excel will then go to that particular cell where you'll find the data that you want. Or for example, if we wanted to write in the word Google, Excel will then go to the place where it finds that text. So the home command allows you to place and manipulate data inside of your Excel spreadsheet. And for the most part, if you've ever used Microsoft Word or you've ever used Microsoft PowerPoint, much of the way in which you place content inside of Excel is going to be the same as if you were doing it in those other programs. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video. So well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. There's just some of the fabulous things that you can do with some of the formatting that you can take advantage of in the home menu. Really neat. I really like it. And um, that video comes from my series. It's uh, Managing and Reporting with Excel. It's available on my site. You can go check it out. As a matter of fact, if that doesn't convince you enough, take a look at this. Are you looking for an easy to use software that can store and retrieve all your financial data in just a few clicks? If the answer is yes, then I have good news for you. Presenting to you, Microsoft Excel. Excel is the most popular program for managing and reporting data. This is largely due to its availability. All computers with Windows have Microsoft Excel installed in them. It is also available on Mac OS on different mobile devices. With the latest version of Office, Office 365, Excel has become available online. This means that users have access to the program from a range of devices from almost any location. Microsoft Excel is used by over 1.2 billion people on the planet, and if you don't know how to use it yet, then you're missing out big time. So that is why I created a step-by-step -step video series on how to use this powerful software to grow your business to the next level. If this interests you, scroll down this page below to discover more about it and learn how I can help you get started fast. All right, so in a nutshell, there you have it. That's what we explored today was the home menu. 
Um, I hope you benefited from learning a little bit more about the home menu as I did. And um, I hope that you find some use for it. If you found this video useful, please be sure to smash the thumbs up button. Also be sure to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed to this channel. And also too, if you really wanna learn more about this Excel, I have like a, like a series of videos that you could download from my page. So go check out the page below and you could get in on the special deal with those videos. And ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching and have a great day.